Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalanyam Engineering College, Koyil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics in Tamil. This is lecture number 3.4, Second Law of Thermodynamics, Part 4. In the lecture, la, the topic Causes of Irreversibility and Condition for Reversibility. So, in the earlier lecture, we studied about the reversible process, irreversible process, various types of irreversible, pro irre irreversible process and here we are going to study about causes of irreversibility. What are the reasons for the irreversibility and uh, the learning outcome to the lecture. At the end of the lecture, the student will be able to explain the causes of irreversibility and discuss the condition, conditions of reversibility. One process irreversible is irreversible, what is the reason? That is why one process reversible is irreversible, what is the condition? This is the two things we will do. First, causes of irreversibility. There are two major classification. One is irreversibility due to lack of equilibrium. One is irreversible due to dissipative effect. Lack of equilibrium. So, equilibrium will be the process will become irreversible. That is dissipative effect. That is the chanaka, the process will become irreversible. Irreversible due to lack of equilibrium. Further, there are three. Heat transfer through finite temperature difference. Lack of pressure equilibrium within the interior of the system. Free expansion. Apro irreversibility due to dissipative effect. Friction, pedal wheel work transfer. Transfer of electricity through a resistor. So, in the six reasons, in the six reasons, we will detailed discuss pannala. First, heat transfer through finite temperature difference. So, heat transfer process will be reversible when the heat transfer, heat is transferred through infinite decimal temperature difference. What is the infinite decimal temperature difference? Temperature difference on the delta T. Delta T equal to 10, delta T equal to 1, delta T equal to 0 0.01. So, this is infinite finite temperature difference. Delta T equal to 10, delta T equal to 1. They are finite temperature difference. Delta T is equal to 0 0.01, that is infinite decimal temperature difference. When the temperature difference for any uh, heat transfer process. Number here, can I you heat transfer process? The temperature difference is the driving force. Temperature difference is the heat transfer. Not heat transfer process on the infinite decimal temperature difference. The process will be reversible. But a natural process or heat transfer process are with a finite temperature difference. If our infinite decimal temperature difference is not the transfer of infinite amount of heat through an infinite decimal temperature difference will, will require an infinite amount of time or in infinite area. So, we require very large area and we require more very high time for the heat transfer. But the actual heat transfer process through a finite temperature difference or irreversible. So, actual heat transfer process, finite temperature difference is practically. So, that is irreversible. If the proof of that, we take a system. The source at a temperature Ta and the sink at temperature Tb. First, there is, a, there is a heat transfer, finite temperature difference Qab. So, from A to B, there is a heat transfer of finite temperature difference and there is a heat engine operating between the same uh, source and the sink temperature and it produces network transfer. Number, we assume the QAB is reversed. QAB reverse achinaka QBA. QBA reverse achinaka. So, in the interaction, if a Q2 avandana pannala, QBA could connect pannala. So, Q2 amount of heat rejected by the engine may be connected for the heat transfer. Apadhi pannam naka, heat sink avandha remove pannila. Heat sink remove pannam naka, it violates the Kelvin Planck statement. So, it becomes a heat engine producing network transfer without, by interacting with a single reservoir, which is not possible. So, it is violating Kelvin Planck statement. 
So temperature difference, finite temperature difference, heat temperature dif heat transfer with the finite temperature difference is not reversible. QAB is the heat transfer with the finite temperature difference. QBA is not possible. So that is the reason. Lack of pressure equilibrium within the interior of the system or between the system and the surrounding. Pressure difference in the the process will become irreversible. When there is pressure difference within the system or between the system and the surrounding, the system will undergo a change of state to establish mechanical equilibrium. So, pressure difference is mechanically imbalanced. So, if imbalance is correct, the system will undergo a mechanical equilibrium. Stable, it, it should become stable. So, stable is not time. The reverse of the process is not possible. So, pressure difference is it is it becomes it, 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 it leads to mechanical equilibrium, mechanical imbalance, so which is not reversible. Free expansion in the in the insulated chamber, there are two chambers within inside it A and B. So, A is completely filled with some gas, and there is a diaphragm, and B is completely vacuum. If the diaphragm puncture the gas is completely occupy expanding and completely occupying the entire volume A and B. And this kind of expansion is called as free expansion or unrestrained expansion. So if there is no work transfer, there is no heat transfer. Because there is no heat transfer because it is insulated, there is no work transfer. So the reverse of the process naturally on its without any external effort is not at all possible. So free expansion process is a irreversible process. Then friction. So there is a flywheel which is rotating. There is a brake, right? When you when you push the brake, when you apply some force, the flywheel is rotating. We assume the flywheel is rotating. The brake move on the flywheel stop on. So flywheel initial velocity v1 or suti it rike brake move on the flywheel stop on ro. Final velocity becomes zero. Friction always present in moving devices. So the friction may be reduced by suitable lubrication. Friction on the reduced but it cannot be completely eliminated. The continuous motion of a movable device in a complete absence of friction is known as perpetual motion machine of third kind. So continual motion of movable device, complete absence of friction. When there is no friction in a continuously moving device, then it is called as perpetual motion of third kind. So, which is not possible. So, when a brake is applied, work done equal to zero. Work done is negligible. So, the brake is moving for a small, very small distance. So, the brake is, the work done, the work done is negligible and there is negligible heat dissipation. So, the work is converted into heat, very small amount of heat and it dissipated. So, Q12 equal to Q, W12 equal to zero. It is negligible. From first law of thermodynamics, Q12 equal to change in energy, E2 minus E1 plus W12. If W12 Q12 equal to 0, then we can substitute E2 equal to E1. E1 is the initial energy, total energy, E2 is the final total energy. If you have any energy, kinetic energy, initially it is rotating with the kinetic energy and the system has got some internal energy. System has got some internal energy. And after applying a break, again kinetic energy mv m v2 square by 2 plus internal energy u2. So break apply panat the cap from v2 equal to 0. Up v2 equal to 0 naka m v1 square by 2 plus u1 equal to u2. So u2 equal to final internal energy, u1 is the initial internal energy plus initial kinetic energy. So, the molecular internal energy U2 is increased by absorbing initial kinetic energy. So, the molecular internal energy is involved in initial internal energy and the kinetic energy. So, the reverse is not possible. So, the reverse is not possible. So, friction, when there is friction, the process will become irreversible. Then, pedal work. The work may be transferred with an insulated chamber by means of a pedal wheel, which is known as stirring work. So, stirring. The work is transferred causes increase in molecular internal energy of the system. So, there is increase in the molecular internal energy of the system. Now, so we, we decrease the molecular internal energy. We decrease the molecular internal energy and it will cause us some work output. So, work output is produced by decreasing the internal energy. But the equal amount of heat is supplied. Equal amount of heat is supplied. Now, if you are in the same energy, one heat, one heat engine cycle is 
அப்போ த ஹீட் இன்ஜின் சைக்கிள் இஸ் ப்ரொடியூசிங் ஒர்க் வித் இன்ட்ராக்டிங் வித் சிங்கிள் சோர்ஸ் இன்ட்ராக்டிங் வித் சிங்கிள் சோர்ஸ் which is violating kelvin planck statement which is not possible so pedal wheel work transfer irundichinaaka the process will become irreversible so work is delivered by the system by decreasing the molecular internal energy the equal amount of heat is supplied from the heat source constitute a heat engine cycle it violates the kelvin planck statement of second law producing net to work by exchanging heat with a single reservoir becomes pmm So, so it is irreversible. So PMM2 is irreversible. We have learned about it. Our PMM2, this is PMM2 wired there. So which is not possible. So pedal wheel work transfer is an irreversible process. And the transfer of electricity through a resistor. So there is a resistor through which, through the resistor, the uh, uh, electric, electric current is flowing, which may be used to drive a motor. and the motor will pull some weight so flow of electric current through a wire represent work transfer because current can drive a motor which can raise your weight writing writing the first law of thermodynamics q12 equal to w12 plus u2 minus u1 so q12 heat supplied is negative w12 is also negative so w12 is the amount of heat i mean amount of work input to the system which is negative both q1 to w1 to are negative so u1 equal to u2 so therefore w1 to q1 to the reverse of the process is not possible so work kudta heat produce ad resistor la inga heat produce ad heat is rejected work is given both are negative so reverse heat kudta ka work produce ad current produce agad so the current resistor ku la current flow aachna ka so the process is irreversible so these are all the reasons for the irreversibility of the process then what are the conditions for reversible process so a natural process is irreversible because of the condition for mechanical chemical and thermal equilibrium are not satisfied and the presence of dissipative effect so na any natural process is a irreversible process because there is no equilibrium there is lack of equilibrium and there are dissipative effect so or process reversible irukunumna ka the process will be reversible when the process is performed quasi statically so quasi statically means very 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 slowly so the system passes through a state of thermodynamic equilibrium over state of thermodynamic equilibrium ah irukano and there is no dissipative effect in the moon condition satisfy aachna ka so the process is reversible so none of the practical process is reversible so all the natural process they are reverse irreversible idu vandu neenga nyamam vechukonu so thank you for watching you can contact me in my whatsapp number ungalukku edha doubt undra ka whatsapp message pannunga i will answer to your question so we'll meet again in another video lecture in carnot cycle until then bye